Our classic car from 1974 could be easily unlocked and started with this pure mechanical key. With raising theft figures, we had to do something on this and had to add an electronic transponder to the mechanical key. Today, we have pure electronic keys which work without any mechanical devices remotely. The new generation of vehicle key becomes an application of smartphones. The car user can open the car door and start the engine with their smartphone without having a physical key in their pocket. Only an authorized person has access to the car. Total theft is a real issue for an insurer. Therefore, the insurer has to make plausible that the claim has really taken case. The customer, due to this, has to deliver the keys of a stolen car to the insurer. This is in order to make sure that he can't sell and uh, file a claim. Insurers need to uh, address things like this in their claims handling processes and with regard to the virtual vehicle key, this requires special processes. If you have a standard key, you can deliver this to your insurer. If you have a key in your smartphone, would you like to deliver the car smartphone to the insurer? Better not. So therefore, we need another process. It is therefore essential that in the back end of the manufacturer, where the virtual vehicle keys are administered, there must be a lock function. This lock function stores all the activities in terms of is there a key activated, is a key deactivated. If the insurer has access to this information, it is not necessary to deliver any smartphone to the insurer. We created the requirements for a virtual vehicle key from insurance company perspective, which intended in particular to make access and driving authorization secure. Our requirements based on risk analysis carried by Fraunhofer Institute for Secure Information Technology. With our automotive security expertise at Fraunhofer SIT, we supported Allianz in the project on virtual car keys. At Fraunhofer SIT, we work on different aspects of automotive security. For example, we perform risk and threat analysis, we develop new security solutions, or we do practical tests of electronic control units. In the projects, we derived security requirements for the virtual car keys. First, we identified threats, then we made a risk assessment, and then we defined the requirements, for example, on the used authentication schemes or on platform security for the used smartphones. In the tradition of the electronic immobilizer, Allianz Center for Technology defined requirements for virtual vehicle keys. In collaboration with international partners, these requirements have been established as an international document. The international automakers define their products in line with these requirements and this standard. This is to assure that our common customers have a secure product and insurers have a smooth handling process. <music>